Hi everyone, so we just got some update about season 5, not the final patch notes yet, but some kind of juicy little details, including the upgraded Harlequin crest that we're going to find in season 5. It looks like this now, and that is certainly one of the highlights of this blog post that we have just received here. This is like an absolute beast, a lot of people are talking about this, I just went over this on my stream as well. This thing has 20% base cooldown reduction, it's almost triple of the original. And, uh, well, if you invest into that with some master working and potentially a greater affix, you can get uh, 2.7 times that number for a 54% cooldown reduction on a single item. That sounds pretty wild. So that is something to look forward to for Season 5. And all of the other uniques in the game are also getting updated to maybe not exactly the same power level because this is still a Harlequin Crest, but this is a goal of Blizzard to go and update every single unique item in season five to be much more viable we have seen a few of those previews already i talked about them lately in another video and on thursday on the first of august they have the campfire chat detailing those updates there's going to be patch notes there's going to be a full list of all of the uniques so it's going to be crazy to see what's happening there adam jackson has already been teasing that they have been going pretty wild and as you can see here it's not just a cooldown, they've also added 2,500 armor on this thing, basically kind of solving armor for you by itself. Uh, the life was buffed, it now has maximum resources, benefits a few builds, so there's like lots of crazy stuff going on here with just the Harlequin Crest alone. And a few other things here. So this is the blog post, I will also link this in the description, you can go check this out if you want to read through the entire thing. I'm not going to go like word by word now, there's a lot of blah blah that if you have been following the season 5 news so far, you will already know. So this is just like for people that have no idea what's going on. What you need to know, uh, just the TLDR, the Infernal Horde is going to be a new uh, endgame system starting in World Tier 3, where you basically go into like this arena, it's like a big room and there's like monsters spawning and events spawning in various corners of this arena. And then you do uh, like a wave survival mode. You have to fight through, I think, up to 10 waves of around a minute each. And then you get these others. These are these rewards here in the back. And you collect them as you slay more enemies. And then there's also between each wave, you can collect banes and boons that make the run harder, but give you more rewards and stuff like that. And at the end of the run, there is a council boss fight against the uh, traveling car council from the other two. That's why there's three of those guys, and once you take those down, you will have the option to spend the other on certain reward chests, including uh, gold, legendaries, and new uniques as well. There's like a bunch of new items from this content specifically that are coming, up to actually 50 new uniques and uh, legendaries. And then there's also going to be a chest with a guaranteed greater affix reward. So there's like some stuff to look forward to. We don't know exactly how rewarding this will be. There's like a lot of explanations here, but on the PTR, it was really terrible. They have been buffing this, of course. Obviously, they want us to play this, so I would expect this to be relatively rewarding now that the Season 5 is actually going live. You can open this with the Infernal Compasses. There's like this item here. You can find this in various sources and Helltides and whatnot. And this is kind of like, like a Nightmare Dungeon key. You just TP there, and then you do the Wave Survival event. And there will be kind of like a Season theme attached to that that's called Hellbreach Dungeons. Uh, apparently, all over the world, they will kind of pop up a bit like, I guess, the season three, the constructs or something, where you just go in and it's like a, maybe like a glorified like a mini dungeon or like a cellar or something, where you have like a few of those waves and then also some of the rewards that you can get there. So there's like another way to acquire the stuff as you play through just Sanctuary, basically. Yes, for example, if you use uh, screenshots, uh, there's like the, the Fell Council here, there's like one of the guys, here's another guy. And you can kind of see they have like all these different spells and there's like a different combination of a boss fight every single time, which is kind of cool. And uh, some of the new transmogs they've shown off here that is coming in Season 5. So this is the blog post here. There's also the Inside the Game uh, video that they have released where they talk more about the development and what it's going to be like. For example, here they talked about that they wanted to recreate this scene from the uh, campaign where uh, Prava and the... Um, army of light just basically going into um, hell and descending into like this infinite onslaught and this is what it looks like here in the end it seems like they have definitely spiced it up a little bit compared to the ptr they haven't really given us too many details yet 
but it looks like from those few clips that we can identify here that there's more stuff going on for example as well um just like more enemies for example here is one of the screenshots that i took from this video uh, where there is just like a hundred of these lunatics dropping down at once and then you have to deal with them all at once so these are these fallen explodey guys for example and there might be more similar stuff like that going on they said in this video that they're just throwing everything at you that they got so we'll see what this will look like i hope that it's going to be very chaotic very crazy especially in the higher difficulties they seem to have to emphasize here that you only have limited revives and you get fewer revives on the higher difficulties and so on so maybe it's actually going to be kind of like a relatively tough challenge in order to even take down the highest tier at least on a pdr that was not easy in fact when i tried it i did not complete the highest tier i actually ripped against the butcher spawning in there there's like a mega butcher and maybe some other stuff like that that's gonna go on and it's gonna spice it up and make it kind of fun so they also talked about like there's a quest line, of course, similar to other seasons. You can start a quest line in the seasonal realm right away. And then there's an extra quest line that starts in World Tier 3 to introduce a system also for the Eternal players, if you're playing on Eternal. And this is kind of like what this looks like here. So I have like the Infernal Hordes. There's like this uh, arena, basically, and then, you know, little events. You just try to like fill up um, the bar and maybe draw out events or whatever. And this is what this system looks like. I will also have a full guide on this once we actually have the details. Maybe they're going to tell us more about it on the campfire chat. Here are some of these boons and banes that you can get, for example. Uh, between the waves, you can choose these upgrades and then you try to, for example, combine certain upgrades to get more rewards in the end and so on. So my personal opinion about the Infernal Hordes when I played it on PTR, it wasn't really good. But as I mentioned, they have been doing a lot of work. It definitely looks like they have been trying to step up the game a little bit. I was hoping for more than what we saw in this clips here at least. It seems like there is no like fundamental change to do, be like a real roguelite mode that some people were hoping for, including myself. For example, you know, some actual banes and boons that are more like, for example, Hades-like, where, you know, it changes how your character functions what the monsters do you know you get some special power-ups or something like that it seems like that is not actually coming which is a bit sad but on the other hand it also gives us hope that in the future they would actually maybe work on such a feature you know with with all this feedback in mind that they now have about infernal hordes so instead of doing something half-baked here maybe this is going to be this little side content that you use to get those certain items or just you know have some bit of fun if you want to just like stand there and mow through lots of enemies basically this is what it is and you don't really have to think you don't really have to do much or you know go anywhere and have a path or something so this might just be like a nice kind of like grind while watching netflix on the side kind of feature and if nothing else it's just going to be there as like another system in the game that you either choose to play or you don't there's no exclusive reward in here outside of having a higher chance for some of the new unique items that you may or may not want for your build Either way, though, in Season 5, you can look forward to a lot of the other changes that are coming. There's a huge balance pass that sounds like it's going to finally bring some actual semblance of balance to the game between the different classes. Buffs have been brought down a bit. Sorks are going way up the way it looks like. And potentially other buffs that are coming to maybe Druids as well, for example. So those have been uh, so not really on the same level lately. And there's, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to here. And there's also more stuff detailed in this blog post here. But the real juice is on the campfire chat and then the follow-up patch notes here. This is on August 1st, on Thursday, 11 a.m. PDT. So this is going to be like 8 p.m. CET time in the evening. So it's like the typical time. Uh, I'll be there, of course. I'll be watching this live. I'll be commentating. And of course, then we're going to go straight into the patch notes. And I'll keep you guys posted about what is going on and what to expect a lot of people are asking already for the tier lists and for builds and whatever i have a lot of stuff prepared <laughs> if you're ever looking for any of my planners for example uh, i can just show that off real quick uh, one more time but i do have my discord here with the uh, woody builds channel so if you go here uh, i do have a stuff already from season 5 pdr so like a month ago we played the test realm I have a lot of stuff prepared. It's not like fully finalized, but you can grab those links. You can bookmark them. These are my builds that I've been working on. And there's a lot of stuff and a lot of really cool builds to look forward to for all the classes. And this is even without knowing all of the <laughs> unique reworks. I think there's going to be a lot of cool surprises in there. A lot of excitement when they show all those uniques. So I'm very pumped for that. And it's just going to be season four 
but better. Regardless of how Infernal Horse turns out, I think. <laughs> so that's gonna be cool. Either way, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. I'm also currently working on some um, like leveling tutorial, like season start uh, runs that uh, are kind of like a play along, let's play kind of type of video where I explain a lot of um, basically my thoughts and the strategy behind how everything works. I'll be uploading those in the next days. I've completed Rogue and Necro, so stay tuned for all the classes and hope that helps you out. I'm really curious of how you guys think about this, what you like about it, what not, what else I should be explaining maybe, but this is something that I do for you guys to have an easy start in the season and something that maybe has a lot of background info that a lot of people might not know. So give me any kind of feedback about those videos when you watch them and otherwise hope you enjoyed this one here and see you guys next time.